Welcome to Fab Lab. This is the show that explores the cool ways science, tech, and innovation are making the world a better place. I'm Carrie. I'm Asia. I'm Nick. I'm Kara. And I'm Maddie. So we're at Fab Lab. What are some of the stories that we should talk about today? I have a story. Um, about this adorable dog, his name is Derby. He was born uh, with deformed front legs. The rescue group and I talked, and I was like, look, I kind of have this idea. And they were like, what is 3D printing? <laughs> and I was just watching him, and I sketched something out. Being able to solve problems that you see day to day is what draws me into the sciences. And then to see him run down a street, the rush of emotions is just sort of overwhelming. In the future of Fab Lab, we're going to be discovering so many awesome stories just like this. My lab is the uh, Rehabilitation Biomechanics Lab. So these are devices that you either wear because you've lost a limb, or you wear outside of the body to help you move. So we do a lot of treadmill walking, and we measure how their limbs move in space, and if they can get to be more symmetric. Seeing a machine that works on a person and how they interact with that and how it enhances their life in some way. Like that to me is the ultimate goal of what you're always striving for. Oh, we should check in with Maddie, our Fab Lab team member who's in Paris. Today I'm at the Louvre, the most famous art museum. Everyone's talking about climate change and I'm gonna show you why. So for the past 600,000 years, the Earth's climate has been pretty stable. This is CO2 parts per million. 600,000 years ago, and in the next 50 years, doubling. But the Louvre is doing something to address climate change. With real-time data analysis, big sensors, and internet tools, they're cutting back their energy usage. Do you know that there are two wind turbines in the Eiffel Tower that produce 10,000 kilowatts of energy? That's enough for the entire first floor's energy needs. You know what I love about Fab Lab is that we really celebrate the idea that everyone has something unique in their head that's worth sharing that can help your local community and really even change the world. Katie Stagliano started Katie's Crops to end hunger in her community. So the saying, think globally and act locally, I think it really hits home for me because I started to end hunger in my community. Her goal is to have a vegetable garden in all 50 states. Katie inspires me by helping me to realize that I can make a difference in my community. It's incredible to be able to say that you did that. I love game shows, especially lightning round. Nick, what percentage of U.S. electric power comes from wind turbines? One percent. Natalie, can you beat that? Mm. Three percent. You're both wrong! No. <laughs> it's actually 5.7 percent, which is pretty great. Should right, we, so like, let's... close this out with a selfie? Yes, we should. Okay, okay perfect. Yes. All right. Yeah, you're big head. Oh, I'm sorry. 